Hey guys, so I'm out at Montero Light, and this is one of my favorite places to go when I'm not feeling particularly inspired. Um, so I was thinking today maybe doing a demo. So those of you who are looking for something fast paced, uh, <laughs> Might want to click off now. Okay, so I kind of like this view here with the uh, with this tree and the shadow it's casting, and then looking down onto the water. So I've thought of painting this view for quite a while, but I've just never gotten around to it. A lot of times in this spot here, it's really windy, uh, but today's pretty nice. So uh, I'm all set up. Let me show you what I'm using today. Okay, so I've got the Anderson easel with a 16 by 20 inch uh, masonite panel that has three coats of gesso. Last coat has some pumice in it. Okay, so I've got some odorless mineral spirits in my brush cleaner, and I've got some Liquin uh, by Windsor & Newton in a little palette cup here. Okay, so let's get started. Let me show you what I got so far and what my idea is here. Okay, so I sort of lightly indicated the shadow areas of the tree here and then outlined the rocks and um, sort of indicated the flow of the waves um, sort of in this radial fashion here. So that's about it. I'm going to keep going. Okay, so I've established a shadow pattern using that uh, mixture of ultramarine and alizarin crimson. And I know it looks really, it probably looks really purple or very violet right now, but um, you know, I'll paint over that and try to get more accurate colors. Okay, so I'm running low on paint on my palette, so I'm gonna head back to my car, but let me show you what I got so far. Okay, so I've just sort of roughed in the colors and, uh, you know, preserving the shadow shapes, and now I'm gonna start working on some more accurate color. Okay, so I think I've done about all I can do for now. Uh, I was trying to get some really saturated colors as usual and get some color into the shadows as well. So, uh, but as usual, we'll get it home, put it in a frame and take a look at it. Okay, so this is more or less the finished product. I'll probably do some touch-ups and I may make a few minor changes, uh, but some things I like um, overall, I like the composition. I like this shadow shape right here. Um, I like how there's some rich uh, colors, rich warm colors in the shadows as well. Um, things I might change. I think I might change these rocks. They're kind of going off in this direction. I might have them head off in this direction a bit. Maybe have the rocks go coming in more at an angle. Uh, one of the challenges uh, with this was having the um, tree stand out from the water. 
in real life they were very close in value. Um, so, and in fact, even in the painting they are, the camera sort of exaggerates the difference in value, um, but it's very subtle. So today was one of those days that took a little extra motivation to get started. Um, I do have those days where I'm feeling uninspired or tired or whatever. Um, but when I do make myself paint or force myself to get going, usually once I'm started, then uh, I get into the process and actually feel excited about what I'm doing. And then oftentimes I'll end up, uh, you know, getting a decent painting out of it. So I'm glad I decided to stick with it today. And um, as usual, thanks for hanging out guys and I will see you in the next video.